I know it seems rather strange that somebody who grew up 8,000 feet above sea level would become so attached to a port, a seaport in the United States. But that's what happened to me. I came here as a reporter to Baltimore. I didn't even know what a port was. And when I was told to go down to the waterfront and look at it, hey, I really like this because there's a different story almost every minute at that time. The Port of Baltimore is far beyond the Inner Harbor, which is what the average person in this area thinks the Port of Baltimore is. The real Port of Baltimore begins along Clinton Street, goes on down into uh, Lower Canton, goes on down all the way down to Sparrows Point, and on the other side of the harbor, it includes Locust Point and South Locust Point, and it includes all of the former Fairfield, where so many ships were built. I think one of the most uh, fascinating aspects of the Port of Baltimore, in my mind, is the economic control, help, uh, development that it provides not only for the city of Baltimore, but for the entire state of Maryland. It is because of the port. If you go back in history, the industries that were located here, it was because initially the only transportation was by water. And so the port provided that highway for movement of cargoes back and forth. It is, even today, it's the economic engine of the state of Maryland. I get excited when I see the gigantic pieces of agriculture equipment that are sent here from Wisconsin and Michigan for export. Export to Russia, to the Ukraine, to Finland, uh, elsewhere in the world. We have nearly 3,000 ships coming in every year now. And that figure is down from what it used to be because the ships are much bigger. We see a whole layout here of Rucker Terminal where all types of products are brought in. And they go throughout the United States, whether it's nickel from Africa, whether it's products from Ukraine. Uh, there's a story in almost every corner of the port every hour of the day. And that is the Port of Baltimore. The port, there is no place as fascinating as a seaport in the United States of America.